Hey guys. Hey guys, this thing's rolling, yeah? Yeah. My good mate Harry shared best a mate. book. Yeah, actually best mate, man. And same he, on my side. Him and I have gotten to know each other, guys, and we, we're here to tell you that despite the differences in the outside world, yeah, the isms and this and that, we're all one. And I feel that all of us came to be with each other online and offline and on social media and what have you. We have our differences. We might not be perfect. And I feel that we're all here for a reason. We came here from the inside out to change this place. Some people call it a construct, a simulation, whatever you choose to, to um, perceive it. One thing we can all get behind, right? The commonalities beneath all the differences. I was telling this to Harry, we were talking about it, is we all have a commonality of the want to be, uh, the, the desire to be loved and to love others. Yeah. For peace, most people want to live life in peace. People just want to be happy. Exactly, man. Without triggers and traumas. And Harry sent this to me. It's called um, I Feel Love, yeah? About MDMA. Correct, the quest of MDMA. Yeah, yeah. and another name for MDMA, as some of you and know. And if you're being honest, you didn't really yeah. know the therapeutic benefits of it. Yeah, right? at, at first I was quite put off with it. I'm like, oh, damn, that's a street drug type thing. I thought, yeah, I, thought I had negative connotations. Yeah. I thought, I don't want to do drugs like that. But then uh, Harry loaned me this book and my whole mind shift changed it. This drug was actually used in therapeutic trials mm -hmm. and uh, lots of psychotherapists. For couples, couples. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. couples. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Because it makes it very honest, right? Very honest. And yeah. some people have had a lot of epiphanies and revelations uh, through MDMA. How cool. Yeah, yeah, so it's not just a rave club, guys. It's no. not just a club drug. No. Um, it can be insightful. It can, can be give you insightful. insights. Absolutely. When I first took it into 2012, before you were in, I felt like it was a natural state of being. I was so disconnected from it due to trauma. I was so disconnected to that feeling. Oh, ecstasy did you? I didn't know that. Right? You did ecstasy during that time. Interesting. Um, 2012. And the yeah, yeah, yeah. Reading, a guy gave it to me at Anketamin. And I took the ecstasy in a bomb. And I felt that's a natural state of being. It didn't feel unnatural. But I was so disconnected from it. Yeah. Due to trauma. That was I the, get that. Then, I, then I knew that yeah. it was like a marker of what I could be on my growth journey. And every single year the of my life, points, bro. that's what exactly. I mean. They and that's why, by the things. way, I'm sure you'd agree, Greg, that's why these tools are useful as reference points. We're not saying get addicted to them, take them Yeah, words. we're not saying go do drugs. They're, they're uh, something to yeah. work towards on your daily state. You can achieve this without it, right? Exactly. You yeah. don't even need MDMA. Yeah. That's the thing. And like, he, the the joy... he does the release technique and you get high on that. The right? own supply, exactly. Yeah. Like Harry and I are saying that um, we don't need drugs. Look, him and I, we're all open-minded. We're keen to try something out at least once in our lives. I've never done ecstasy before, but he opened my mind. I was actually respect. quite... Yeah, much respect, bro. Because I was having qualms about it. I thought, okay, the stereotype about it, you know, that it's a party drug. And, how do you feel on it? And, um, you tell them how you feel on it. What, yeah, does, it, what does it do for your experience? My experience, um, it opens yeah. me up. I become more sociable. I feel so totally comfortable in my skin. Harry and I, our friendship, our friendship, guys, has bonded. We're talking about a woman that, ha that have um, come and gone in our lives. Yeah. And we're talking about the male-female dynamics that we've had with our exes. And yes, synchronicities we've had with um, um, exes yeah. that taught us great lessons in growth. Absolutely. Shadow and, work related. And even other guy friends that, that burnt us, you know, like I know with you, it's just yes. somebody. Yes, I'm exactly. not drop names of that, but yeah. some of you may know. But um, what I love about uh, exploring your consciousness, guys, like Harry and I are doing right now on MDMA, yeah, that. is yeah. that it can take you to places that you know you, uh, that is you're able to reach by yourself so it gives you a sneak peek type thing yeah which is a great reference point for, for, to, to encourage you to walk to work to work exactly. towards that because when you're so disconnected through trauma you've forgotten your numbness or your when you have trauma yeah exactly a lot, i think you guys relate to this when you have trauma yeah. it can go both ways you feel either numbed out your senses aren't as wide you don't see things as like normal people the more trauma you've got the more your senses shut down absolutely I'm gonna say with that. um oh sorry so you get numbed out through trauma yeah. but also you get um, ungrounded sometimes, like overstimulated. So there's two um, two polar opposites when yeah. you've got screen trauma. Yes, you either go into exactly, num numbness, yep. which is not a normal human reaction. Most normal people out there have more senses, so they don't get numbed. Or you get yeah. what I experienced. Desensitize. Are you talking about desensitization type thing? Sort of. And yeah. what the other one, the other factor of the numbness, which we present, we try and pretend that we're not numb to other people, but we can numb out because we're trauma. But yeah. also the other side of it is, <laughs> the, other, the other flip side of that is ungroundedness. Like yeah. when I'm hyper stimulated, this is why like none of us like to go to um, coffee malls and shopping centers because for ungroundedness, people like us, trauma, it's too much stimulation. And for me, when I come out from those environments, I feel overly stimulated, not numb, the opposite. Can I be honest with you, bro? Yeah. I, I, I had that 
that that big time, like what you said, no? Yeah. But again, we come back to that modality I keep sharing online and with you the and release. everyone. The release technique. The release. It's made me more, yeah, exactly. The actual truth, I believe. Yeah. It made me more. Um, what are we talking about now again? Sorry, mm. man. You know, guys, we 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 it's having lollipops here because uh, it it locks your jaw. As we know. But yeah, we don't want to make it too long either. So yeah, this is it. But basically, a... be open-minded. Greg's not done it before. What was your? How do you feel in the state currently? More Bro, open? I feel my inhibitions yeah. are totally gone. I feel childlike state. Yeah. And what I love about the book, guys, as well, you don't need to rely on ecstasy. Some people, yeah, in this book have given testimonials where they just tried it once in their life and their whole life changed. They never had to take it again. But there was an inner shift in their psychology. That, uh, yeah, so this is not me and Harry promoting, you know, drugs and saying, oh, go ahead and take Molly. We're just saying that this is uh, open-minded and that if you feel drawn, if you feel called to it, and it's your decision to make. It changed um, Michael Edwards. Um, it's great for couples. It's great for insight. You feel pure happiness, love, joy. Shout out to Michael Edwards, by the way. Shout out to Michael Edwards. Shout out to you, dude. I know he's on Facebook right now. If you if you watching this video, we'll tag him afterwards. We'll tag him on this. Let's tag him, bro. Yeah. So, so Michael, now you know why you tag Michael. So wait, can, we, can we say for Michael? <laughs> you, sure? you are a fucking legend. I'm so happy. I knew Ebony before you. And you coming out and speaking your truth, you have very unique mastery and insights for me and Greg. Yeah, Mike, I know this. Michael and you're a leader of men. Soul family, bro. I think. Yeah, like a lot of us on here. On, Some on here. we talked about privately are less soul family because they run away from us or get triggered or block us. Yeah, Some I think we're all one big family. Just some are more shy than others. Yeah, but, but then we can't <laughs> get. Some of us get triggered by us and don't want to mm. talk us and block us. And then Michael yeah. Edwards, nah. You're cool, man. We're going to meet you. And we're going to do the men's circle with you, can't we? Absolutely. And he's based in Australia, bro. Based if in I can get my papers, we'll go to the land down knew, under, man. I knew his wife, Ebony. Yeah. She's cool. I'd love to go to Australia, man. That's one place I've always wanted Shall to. Shall we end it with this? Go, yeah, MDMA, guys. The love drug, bro. It'll help you to, to open up in general. And in friendship, bro. And in everything to... I'm hugging. I feel natural. Yeah. If we were in a club right now, we'd be hugging everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, man. All right. Thanks, guys.